Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets are making the MVP race and the number one seed out West more interesting than we thought. They're on a three-game losing streak as they head to Canada to take on Pascal Siakam and the Raptors. First quarter, look at Scotty Barnes tracking down the missed shot and daring Jokic to go at him. Off the steal, it's the OG. His name is Ananobi with the throwdown. And then Ananobi lining it up and knocking it down. Raptors up double digits. It's Fred Van Vliet attacking the rim, double clutching and scoring. And then Van Vliet, oh my goodness, that's nasty. He went eight of 12 from the three point line. He had 36 points to lead everybody in scoring. Second quarter, here's your MVP going back at Toronto with a grown man deuce. Van Vliet just attacking Denver's defense. Daring him to do something about it. Off the Gary Trent Jr. miss, it's the OG. His name is Ananobi. Watch your head top, you know? The Raptors up big at the half. <laughs> Toronto bitch loving what they're seeing. They can't believe it. They're playing better ball in large part due to Van Vliet. And also this Jakob Pertl trade is paying off. Nuggets fight back though. Michael Porter Jr. was the leader of the charge. He finds Jamal Murray for three. And then MPJ demanding the rock. He'll finally get it. And he knows what to do with it. Michael Porter Jr. has got the Nuggets down five. Fourth quarter. Raptors. So you're not coming back. Not in this one. It's Pirtle to Ananobi who throws it down again. And then Van Vliet for three. No triple-double for Jokic in this one. Fourth straight loss for Denver. The Raptors improved to 33-36 and 36 on the season with the 125-110 win. Yeah, I think what's happening to Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets is quite simple. If you've been following this platform, number one, I appreciate you. Number two, you're not really surprised what's taking place. This is not the Joker's fault. This is not the Nuggets' fault per se. All they got to do right now is step their game up to the next level. What's happened around the league over the last month and some change, pretty much since All-Star break, is everybody's looking around and they're saying, oh, man, wait, we might not make the playoffs. Wait, we might not be a top four seed. Wait, we might not be the number one seed. Everybody's playing harder right now. And what's kicking into Denver and kicking them in the butt as they lost their fourth in the row is that they came out the gate playing at a really high level. And it's not their fault that the rest of the league in October, November, December doesn't take the season serious. Now, you could look at this and maybe think, okay, Denver probably should have had this one seed locked up with the way that they were playing. Jokic probably should have had the MVP locked up a month ago with the way that he's been playing because now they're in a dogfight. They're in a legit fight for both the, the, the MVP for Jokic the number one seed with the Sacramento Kings, these are real things that are going to be tough to obtain down the stretch with about 14, 15 games to go. Every team is up in their level of play that's trying to make the playoffs right now. The Nuggets play has been at a, a high level to begin the season. Now everybody's matching their high play. If you look around in the Easter Conference, the same thing is happening to the Boston Celtics right now. They've fallen off the one seed. They're fighting for number two with Philly right now. The Denver Nuggets just got to take their game to the next level. They're one of the teams that pretty much has had the same nucleus the last four or five years. Obviously, we know last year Jamal Murray was down the entire year, but that nucleus has been pretty much set. It's been Jokic, and it's been Jamal Murray. They're back to what they know. Mike Malone's been the coach for a while now. They're back to a, a system that allows them to plug in the other two, three guys around Jokic, Murray, and Michael Porter Jr. The system doesn't change, though. You know what the system is. It's a Jokic-catered system, a lot of movement, watching Jokic make plays, cut, 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 cut for Jokic. He's going to find you and deliver great passes. Murray's got to be at a good level scoring the rock. They just came into the year playing basketball like they know how to play. Everybody else was dealing with injuries. Everybody else was just kind of lollygagging their way back, and Denver came out the gate hot. Now everybody's up in their level of play. 
Now, here's the question. This is where a lot of the Jokic criticism comes in. Can he and this Denver Nuggets team take their game to the next level? That's the question. That's where we're at. The playoffs will be another level up from where guys are playing now. Can Jokic help this Denver Nuggets team get to the next level, or have they capped out with about 15 games to go in the regular season? 